Hi, Gloria Lightbecker here with Healing You. I've been thinking about how stress can affect us and what happens when stress just gets in your face. Well, the other day I had a stress reaction. I was having a conversation with somebody and they got really angry and had disgust, the look of disgust on their face. And they had such a huge visceral reaction. I, I was shocked <clears throat> and I felt angry and, and I got afraid also. And, and it's like, well, then my mind just goes a little bit blank because I'm flipping my lid. And I get really afraid that I'm going to say something wrong and make everything worse. And then, and then maybe I'm going to get rejected and it's like I lose my voice. I start to become less than inside of myself. And it feels like there's absolutely nowhere to turn for support. Oh, gosh, it's really a painful place to be. And there's a lot of things that happen within us when we are faced, especially with a look of disgust from another person. It actually lowers our immune system. Well, on this journey, in this life, I have found that there are, there are places that can support me. And have helped to create resilience in the face of stress. And so I know that it's possible to be able to respond in those situations with compassionate understanding, to have a, a bigger view of what's actually taking place in the moment. And it begins by, you know, you can, instead of, of reacting, you can practice pausing in the moment to connect with yourself before responding or especially before reacting. And then when we feel afraid we're gonna say something wrong, well, what we could do different is we can actually learn how to practice staying present with uncomfortable emotions, which will then expand our window of welcome for those emotions. And we can receive our body's wisdom as we take time to be in our body. And what's also possible is to, um, when we're afraid of being rejected, we're really needing acceptance. So beginning by practicing self-acceptance and knowing that when you honestly express your truth with authenticity, that's why you're here. And Rather than feeling that there's no place to turn for support, when you practice presence, you are able to notice that inner chatter and able to connect inward with your source that can calm that mind that gets so whirling. Because, you know, the mindset that is the, the pathway from to traverse that chasm between those two ways of being is recognizing when you can recognize there's an imbalance that's happening in the moment and you can then also see what's happening in your culture around you then you can also recognize how vital it is that you are authentically you and that you speak your truth in the moment with grace So how, how would we even begin to practice this? Well, there's some skill sets that I find vital. And it's to practice observing, making an observation, which is void of any um, interpretation. Just what is actually happening? Can you see what is actually happening other than what you are projecting upon your environment? So the practice of observation, Krishnamurti says, is the highest form of intelligence for humans. So notice what triggers a reactive state in you. And when you can start to notice and observe what triggers that state, notice and be with your body. Notice what happens in your body instantaneously. And as you keep your attention in your body, without judgment, but with what Krishnamurti calls the highest form of human intelligence, observing what is actually happening. Notice what happens as you just rest your attention in your body 
with the sensations of when you're triggered. That's a really big first step. So if you're willing to do that, I would also encourage you to keep a journal about that called Practicing Presence. And you can do it at the end of every day. And you can notice what happened in my day and make an observation about what triggered you. And then in the moment, what's amazing, it's like time travel empathy. Even though it happened earlier in your day, when you take the time to be present in your now and remember what happened, notice what happens in your body in that moment. Because the body is the container of all of your experiencing. And when you take the time to be with your experiences and process them in this way, there's magic that happens for you. So if you're willing to do that, I encourage you to keep a journal on it so you can notice how your experience begins to change. And if this speaks to you, I invite you to join me to work and heal with others. And you can begin with a free course on my website at healingyoursanctuary.com. And in this course, we are going to really dive into recognizing what are those repeating patterns in our lives and deepen our body awareness and develop a language that we can then communicate that authentically with others. So again, that website is healingyousanctuary.com. And thanks for being on this journey with me today. Healing you.